Good day, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the feast of the holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, with the theme, Families Centered in God, Filled with Love and Harmony. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Salitao Hall of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Sr. Avenue, Quezon City. For today's Eucharistic celebration, our Mass presider is Reverend Father Louis Punzalan, SVD. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. The feast of the Holy Family falls on the last Sunday of every year. But this year is exceptional because Christmas falls immediately before the Feast of the Holy Family. And this makes our families even more close to Jesus. As we celebrate this beautiful feast today, let us pray for our families. Let us also be sorry for the many sins against our own family and its members that we are guilty of. Lord Jesus, forgive our lack of patience, respect and care toward the other members of our family. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, forgive our neglecting to pray with the other members of our family Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, forgive our lack of concern for the welfare of the greater family of our parish. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us a shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The respectful attitude of the children toward their parents is a very important factor in building up a happy family. Such is the truth inculcated by the pious author Ben Sira in today's first reading. A reading from the book of Sira. God sets a father in honor over his children, a mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches to reverse his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reverses his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten, firmly planted against the death of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Love, mutual respect, and forgiveness should be among the special traits of every Christian community and family. Such is the message of St. Paul to the believers of all times. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also do. And over all this, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ Control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, 
giving thanks to God, the Father through Him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands, as is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and avoid any bitterness towards them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, so they may not become discouraged. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, the parents of Jesus went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for Jesus among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found Jesus in the temple sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. But Jesus said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what Jesus said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth. And he was obedient to his parents. And his mother kept all these things in her heart and Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and men my dear brothers and sisters this is the gospel the good news of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ Merry Christmas po sa inyong lahat maligayang Pasko sa lahat ng ating mga taga-subaybay at dumadalo sa ating misa sa telebisyon hindi lamang ngayong araw na ito kundi tuwing nagmimisa galing dito sa Christ the King Seminary The first Sunday after Christmas Day which is today celebrates the Feast of the Holy Family The Feast of the Holy Family is within the so-called Christmas Octave Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ang banal na mag-anak. Sagrada Familia. Already at this point, maybe we can ask ourselves a question. 
Is your family also holy? How holy is your family? How holy is my family? One advantage that the COVID pandemic has done is to bring families to be more present to each other and to pray together more frequently. As Father Patrick Payton said, the family that prays together stays together. And similarly, the family that stays together prays together. Our readings for today, from the first reading from the book of Sirach, from the second reading from the letter to the Colossians, to our gospel reading is enough material for a homily. As a matter of fact, it is already a homily. That is why I do not intend to give a long homily today. Napakaganda ng ating mga pagbasa. Napakaganda ng unang pagbasa, ng ikalawang pagbasa, at ng ibanghelyo. It is like attending a retreat. It is like listening personally to the instructions of St. Paul on how we can make our family holy. My dear brothers and sisters, the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians contains a number of characteristics, the ideal characteristics of every family. And the enumeration is very touching. And I feel it is addressed to all our families, whether the family is a biological or a spiritual and religious community or family. Let us again try to enumerate the characteristics of an ideal family. It is in the letter of St. Paul in the second reading. I quote, Put on heartfelt compassion and kindness, humility and gentleness, and patience, Bear with one another, forgive one another, if one has a grievance against another. And as the Lord has forgiven you, so also you must do. And over all of this, put on love. Let the peace of Christ con beautiful. Let the peace of Christ control your heart. Be thankful. Teach and admonish one another, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. Aren't they beautiful? These are the characteristics of an ideal family. These are the characteristics of the holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. St. Paul adds, Wives, be subordinate to your husbands. Husbands, love your wives. Children, obey your parents. Fathers, do not provoke your children. You notice that for every member of the family, St. Paul has something to say. St. Paul has something to say to the wife. St. Paul has something to say to the husband. St. Paul has something to say to the children and to the fathers and to the mothers. Now you may ask, what is the purpose of the Feast of the Holy Family? Why is there a special Sunday for the Holy Family? What does the simple, admirable life of the Holy, Holy Family telling us? And what can we learn from the Feast of the Holy Family? My dear brothers and sisters, these questions cannot all be answered in a short homily. But we celebrate the Holy Family as a family and as a model for all of us, for our families, for our Christian homes. Jesus also belongs to a family. He is a human being like all of us. His mother is Mary, Joseph is his foster father, and Joseph was a carpenter. My dear brothers and sisters, we cannot choose our family. 
We cannot choose our family. Hindi natin maaaring piliin kung saang mag-anak o pamilya tayo ipanganganak. Our family is the gift of God to us as you are to them. And family is a unique gift that needs to be nurtured and treasured even when sometimes the family drives one crazy. My dear friends, the family is one of nature's masterpieces. For me, family means putting your arms around each other and being there when you need them most. The love of family is life's greatest blessing. A family does not have to be perfect. It only needs to be united and respecting each other. You see, there are three things that matter most in our life. May tatlong bagay na pinakamahalaga sa ating buhay. They all start with letter F. Number one, our faith. Number two, our family. And number three, our friends. Faith, family, and friends. They are among God's beautiful gifts given to each one of us. Amen. Let us now profess the faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third the day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in the Lord who made us members of a Christian family and of the church, let us pray for all families, especially the Filipino family. The response will be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the great families of the church and humankind, may all their members enjoy the protection of Jesus, Mary and Joseph, we pray, Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For all the Filipino families, may their Christian faith and the support of the whole community keep them united and in perfect harmony, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For the families of the poor and the migrants, may their members always treasure the values of faith, solidarity, and generosity in spite of their economic difficulties, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. For the new families that are being formed in this year of the family, may they find inspiration in the Holy Family of Nazareth and live to the full the teaching of St. Paul on family, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. For our own family, 
May the peace of Christ reign among us, and may a selfless love keep us united in mutual forgiveness and solidarity. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. For the thanksgiving prayer of Rico and its Pablo and family, for the complete healing and recovery of Beatrice Jeronimo, Consuelo Digito, Mona Loraya, and Miss Francis Villanueva, for the special prayer intentions of Jean Canel Pua and Juan Antonio A. Bugayong, and for the eternal repose of the souls of Miss Damiana A. Quezon, Miss Deborah Martinez Cabatu, and Mr. Jose Linda, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and all the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. Lord God, in this year of the family, bless all families all over the world, especially the Filipino family. Bring all the members closer to you and to one another, and keep them in your peace and love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that, through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and in your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of the Holy Family, of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time so that raising up in himself, all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call stray humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, you are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember also the deceased members of our own families, our brothers and sisters and relatives and friends, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family of God, let us again pray together and pray for our own family.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Deliver our country and our families from other evils. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress and anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace and joy of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us greet one another in the family, the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say, say the, the word, word and, the, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Synod Prayer We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us, Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. 
let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you who are at work in every place and time in the communion of the Father and the Son forever and ever. Amen. Family Prayer Almighty God, our Father, bless our family and our home. Bind us together by your compassionate love and affection. Give us kindness and patience to support each other and wisdom in all we do. Bring forth the gift of hope and remain always in us. Father, watch over our family. Protect them from any harm and danger. May the child Jesus, Joseph, and Ma Mother Mary always remind us the importance of family in our broken society. A family that grows in love and in joy together before God. Thank you for this time of year, for the surprises, gifts, and blessings, especially as we celebrate the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. May we encourage each and every one to focus in your presence during this season, as God sent Jesus in love and for peace and for all people. Father, as we pray as family, Teach us, your children, to be merry and happy with pure and clean hearts. May this Christmas celebration and in the coming year bring us more joy and blessings as we are one in you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Oratio Imperata against the COVID-19 Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reinadimitz. Pray for us. Holy Family. Pray for us. On behalf of Father Bell San Luis SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass, we would like to thank the following for making our Family TV Mass possible. Reverend Father Pablito Tagura, SVD, Rector, Christ the King Mission Seminary. Reverend Father Louis Punzalan, SVD, Mass Celebrant and Homilist. Lector and Server, Seminarian James Ivan Matre.
Special thanks to our sponsors, donors, and benefactors, to our televiewers here and abroad, and our online audience, thank you. And also to our seminary staff and personnel, thank you, and God bless us all. Let us pray. Bring those who refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you.